Subway Series time here at City Field for WKCR Mets versus Yankees. Got some injury updates first for the Mets. Pete Alonzo, he's been out with some wrist inflammation, potentially a three to four week timeline. Buck hinted at the possibility of him beating that timeline, but not committing either way. Meanwhile, Jose Quintana is making his first rehab assignment, so he could be back in the next few weeks. Really welcome news for a Mets rotation that has looked extremely poor this season, especially with Tyler McGill. He's been struggling. That gives him the opportunity to get some more reps down AAA once he comes up in July. Meanwhile, Max Scherzer taking the bump today, looking to just keep doing how he's been doing. He's seemed to look a lot more locked in these last few weeks and just looking to keep that up. And the Mets, meanwhile, as a whole, just hoping to come off a really bad stretch here. Looked a little better in Pittsburgh, but after that seven-game losing streak, anything is better for the Mets. Now over to Skyler for more updates on the Yanks. What are you seeing from the Bombers? Thank you, Josh. And for the Yankees, first some injury news. Harrison Bader working his way back from the injured list with a hamstring injury. He should rejoin the crew in Boston when they play the Red Sox. Carlos Rodon also working his way back. Going to throw another bullpen on Thursday and then consider some rehab starts from there. On the mound for the Yankees, Luis Severino hoping to get a few miles per hour back on his fastball as he looks to recover from his last couple starts. It's going to be a good one here in Queens. WKCR, Yankees, and Mets.